Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Persona 3 Reload. Last time we basically uh, went back to Tartarus for the second time, uh, third time actually, and cleared all the way up to level 42 I believe after the uh, previous barrier had opened up. We basically cleared the whole area until the next barrier. Um, we gained uh, four levels I believe, we're level 11, 11 or 12, something like that. We did also gain Actually, sorry, level 17. Level 17 now, so we gained quite a bit of levels. We also did manage to get a whole bunch of new personas uh, that we can use for the um, uh, social links that we've been missing. Like the Hermit, uh, the Emperor, um, the Hangman, all that kind of stuff. So, right now... Uh, it is Monday, so I can't continue the uh, the bookworms couple, the old couple, because they're closed on Mondays. So classroom, I believe it's the chariot. Yeah. Actually, so one thing I forgot to do last time, uh, I want to go to the port station island station now skirts and talk to that cat again or not talk but you know what i mean no nothing okay i don't remember how we interact with the cat maybe it's after a certain point or you just have to keep talking to it up for a few times so chubby student uh and Maiko. And here it's Hidetoshi Otagiri and Kazushi Miyamoto. So Hidetoshi was the emperor one, I believe. He's the student council, the guy with like the band on his arm. And uh, Kazushi is the um, uh, the track, like the, the after school track team. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with the little girl for now. And I was also wondering, the those Twilight Fragments, uh, I figured, I guessed, that they would restock after going to Tartarus, uh, but they don't. Maybe it takes another day or two, or... I don't know. Maybe I'm just entirely wrong. Uh, yeah, so Hangman. Let's spend time. Uh, let's spend time. Let's play on the slide. All right. Spend time with Mike on the playground. My tummy's grumbling. Can we go to Wild Duck? Sure, let's go. Yay! You're the best! I wonder what the daily burger is today. I love going out to eat. Mm, I go for a burger right now. Because when I go with my mom and dad, everybody gets along. We used to have so much fun together. Why would they get a divorce? That's a lot of fries. Jesus, that's bigger than like a super size. That's huge, man. It's almost as big as the burger. Um, they probably they fell out of love. It's probably your fault. Um, I don't know. He tried asking. He said it was a grown-up's problem. I, I don't want them to get a divorce. Mom and Dad was heavy. <laughs> no, divorce is stupid. I hate it. <laughs> it's uh, sobbing loudly. What should I do? Uh,
See, here's the thing. Instinctually, you'd want to calm a person down whenever they're being, um, whenever they're being emotional. But sometimes it's actually better to just let it all out, you know what I mean? They don't want to be calmed down, they just want to let it all out. I'm gonna go against my instinct to calm her down and wait for her to finish. <laughs> Sorry. I know it's awkward for you if I cry. I'll try not to. She's doing her best to smile. I feel like we're growing closer. Yeah, I don't know if that was the better thing to do or not. seeing Mako go home, I headed back to the dorm. Is it Mako or Maiko? I'm gonna go with Mako. Perfect timing. Would you mind heading to the rooftop with me? Why? Why? What are you gonna do? You gonna throw me off? Uh, what is it? <laughs> no need to be so wary of me. I mean, you say that. It isn't anything important. I just wanted to show you something. And I just so happen to have the key to the rooftop. Oh, you do, do you? <laughs> now then, shall we go? Sure. Do you recall fighting that shadow here on the rooftop a little while back? Yeah. I mean, it's kind of hard to forget the night you're, you awakened to your persona, you know? Well, while cleaning up the aftermath, I happened upon some planters and gardening tools. And I couldn't help myself from setting up our own little garden. So, what do you think? Not too shabby, huh? It's pretty good. Ah, you have impeccable taste. I'm glad my efforts didn't go unappreciated. Unfortunately, I can feel my back giving out after all that hard work. Do you happen to know a good chiropractor? Yeah, but that Hulk Hogan guy was pretty good. There is, in fact, in, uh, a reason I brought you here. I'd like you to use these planters however you see fit. Although I did set them up, I'm afraid that I won't be able to tend to a garden as often as I'd like. I did mention it to Kirijo-kun, but it didn't catch on, I suppose, due to her upbringing. Besides, you're able to cook meals at the dorm, correct? Well, now you can grow your own vegetables for healthy eating. That's interesting. Um, this wasn't in the original game that I know, that I recall anyway. But they, if it's anything like it was in Persona 4, you could grow your own vegetables and they were basically like, um, they were especially used for uh, um, SP restorative items. I mean, there was HP ones as well, but uh, you can grow your SP ones. And some were more potent than others. Like, I think the basic one, re restored 20 SP, but like you can get ones that restored like 100 SP based on like the different seeds and the potency of like how well you grew them. Uh, sounds interesting. Uh, I'm glad you think so. It would mean a lot to me if you made good use of the planters. Once you get started, you'll find there's a lot that can be done. Of course, you're free to do whatever you want. Uh, I should also mention Persona 5 also had this as well, but to a much lesser extent. Um, because with Persona 4, you actually had to keep tending to the garden. Uh, Persona 5, you would just plant the seed, wait like I believe it was a week before you, you know, reap the fruits and then put like uh, new seeds back in. So I'm wondering if they're copying that, that whole thing here. At the rooftop garden, you can raise crops of vegetables. Each one will take a different amount of time to grow. You or your teammates can eat the vegetables to harvest. You harvest to gain benefits that will be helpful when journeying into Tartarus. Here are some seedlings. Go ahead and plant them if you'd like. You should be able to purchase other types of seedlings around the city. Feel free to experiment. Well, that's everything. And now... Push off the roof. 
it's time to raise the roof and elevate this garden to new heights. And to top it off... Push you off the roof. Eat your veggies, peas. Ah! <laughs> Twilight frame. Something on the ground. Uh, okay. It's the rooftop planter that I was told to take care of. Nothing is planted in the soil of the planter. Looks like we can plant some seedlings. Uh, we'll grow into a, we'll grow a tomato packed full of nutrition. Ten days until fully grown. Uh, sure. Why not? Looks like it could be harvested on six four. Plants. Planted the healthy tomato spray. Yeah. I don't know what the different fruits give you. I, I don't remember any of that stuff. Uh, let's go to the first lounge. First floor lounge. Stocked. <sighs> yeah, my grades were... Well, they were what I expected. Oh, just leave me alone, man. It's your own fucking fault. You didn't study. Yes. My scores on this latest round of exams were quite a bit higher than usual. I guess it's only natural considering how I used my training time to study instead. Oh, right. Mitsuru told me she'll be back late tonight. My mistake. So, according to her, Tartarus is a no go. That's fine. We literally just came back from hey Tartarus. There. My results were actually better than I expected. It seemed uh, like the exam didn't cover that much this time, so I kind of lucked out. I do still wish that I had enough energy to study after going to Tartarus, though. <laughs> well, I'm sure I. Oh, well, I'm sure I'm glad that I you agreed to take over caring for the plants. To be honest, just climbing the stairs up to the rooftop and stuff is rough for an old man like me. Yeah, it is it's like four or five floors, isn't it? Uh, okay, so it's Monday. What I'm thinking is... Let's head back to the strip mall. Um, let's buy the rest of the computer stuff, I guess. Yeah, I might as well buy them up before they potentially get replaced. Come again. Which will probably be again at the start of the month. Usually in a month everything kind of rotates, everything cycles through. Um, whether it's like the movies or books or whatever, especially in the other games anyway. Um now let's go to Polonia. So I could either double raise my charm or do charm and courage by working at Chagall. Um, I think I'll work at Chagall. Oh, before that, let's sell all our items at the police station. Oh, yeah. All the treasure stuff we got. You best be equipped for all contingencies. It's anyone's guess what could happen. If there's anything you don't need, I can take it off your hands. Inventory goes on sale Monday, Tatsumi. Oh, right. There's this guy today. What do you got? Uh, so sell all items. Wanna sell in bulk? 17,900, eh? Alright, I'll take that. Uh-huh. Uh, running a little sale today. See if anything catches your eye. Hmm. So what I have right now When it comes to blades, you've really gotta take good care of them. Yeah. Otherwise they're just useless metals. Huh? Made up your mind? Great. It's all yours. Uh so plus one magic, plus one agility. Yeah, just sell it. Bow that emits an odd sound that confuses enemies. Longbow wrapped tightly with rattan for Yukari. 
accuracy is a lot better. So basically, I'd be giving up uh, 10 accuracy. Sorry, 20 attack for 10 accuracy. Not worth it. Not worth it at all. And plus, it gives its high. I have no uh, idea what you're fighting out there. Yeah. Just don't get in over your heads. High rage effect, so what I have is fine now. Everything look good here? Seven oh, second oops. thoughts? Yeah, the Jizumari. What I have is better. By quite a bit. Uh, Blade Fist and Sonic Fist. So low fear or better chance of attack. Yeah, that what I'll you want? take this. How much thoughts? was it? Oh, quite a bit of difference. 30. Everything look good here? Great. It's all yours. Uh, equip it. And so, got some new things in stock. Check it out. What'll it be? What are you looking for? Feel free to buy whatever you want, but I suggest picking something that complements your physique. So maybe I'll get one camo shirt for uh, Yori for Junpei. Maybe the bulletproof shirt for Yukari. You know I'll hold off on the armor for now. What are you looking for? Footwear. That would take your time. What kind of vision do we have? None, except for Akihiko. Agility plus three. See, I don't know what, uh, like, what's better, Everything agility plus three or an extra connections. eight evasion. Whatever you get, and however you use it, just be careful. Everything Fuck look it. good here. Great, it's all yours. Everything look good here? Great. It's all yours. Everything look good? Alright then. Uh -huh. Bye. As long as you need. So 20 HP. Resist poison, resist confuse, charm, fear, rage. Uh, yeah. I normally don't don't buy the accessories. I uh, usually just make do with what we can find, um, unless there's one that recovers SP. I will 100% buy that. Yeah, the armor I'll hold off. All done here. Yeah. Be seeing you. All right. Now uh, we will work. Uh, spend time. We will work part time. I sweated it out while working part-time as a waiter. I was given a cup of the cafe signature pheromone coffee during my break. I dealt with housewives complaining that the pheromone coffee has no effect. Here's your paycheck. Uh, charm and courage have increased. Beautiful. up dude hey how'd you do on your exams um i'm satisfied with them Wait, what? what you traitor dude i'm a laughing stock you know what i heard those two these two cute first year girls saying did you see the exam results specifically yuri senpai's he sure talks big unlike his brain do you understand what i'm going through my heart is in shambles and we're not even getting a new girl on the team no, wait. It's too early to give up hope. We still haven't heard back from her yet. How can we get her to join us? I should figure out what to say to convince her. Class has ended. 
All right, Kenji. Yep. You want to know the secret to a happy relationship with a girl you like? Normally, you just hang out, chat, and get to know each other better, right? But you gotta watch what you say. If you step on a landmine, it'll all go up in smoke. I mean, same with any relationship, really. And when that happens, it's over. She's through. Usually, it won't be that bad, but still. She does walk out on you. What should you do? I guess you just gotta get on your hands and knees and beg for forgiveness. Even if it takes days. <laughs> Not that I'd ever have to worry about that. Nobody knows Amiri better than me. Oh, that reminds me. Exams are finally over, huh? Man, I studied my ass off for Amiri. Having a girlfriend sure is a big motivator, huh? So they are, are they officially an item? This teacher and student? Uh, I don't know, man. By the way, you're heading out, right? Uh, yeah. Let's, let's hang out. <laughs> In that case... Let's go to Wild Duck. There's a lot I want to talk about today. Alright. Yeah, Emiri is... Oh, that's Miss Kano's first name. Anyway, Emiri's really popular with the guys. And I kind of took her away from them, you know? Like she became my girl before they even had a chance. Turns out Emiri's a really strict teacher when it comes to grades. At home, though, she's a real sweetheart. I love how her attitude changes when she's with me. Yeah, good-looking people just flock together, you know? It's like a law of attraction. Is that so? Good-looking, huh? Hey, I'm just messing around, man. Don't take me so seriously. Well, Emiri is pretty gorgeous. Anyway, what about you? Make any progress with Takeba-san? I feel guilty hogging all the happiness, so I'm gonna wish for you to be happy, too. And hey, don't tell anyone about me and Emiri, okay? Because teachers aren't allowed to date students. I only told you because I trust you. And Mochika really trusts me. I feel like we're, our relationship is stronger. Rank five. Shoot, look at the time. I'm way behind on my favorite show. Well, I guess that's because real life is way better than any show right now. Good for you, man. I don't think uh, Tomochika's ever going to stop talking. I <laughs> did the conversation at a good spot and went home. Oh, Tomochika. I see you're back. Hey, if you're up for it, let's go to Tartarus later. I need to get back into the swing of things. Probably do you some good to train more, too. We can't just rely on some hypothetical new recruit. The enemy could attack again any time. Hmm? Just want to chat. Hello. Whenever I look up at Tartarus, I'm always amazed at how many floors it seems to have. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of fucking floors. The tower reaches to the skies. It's going to be a long and arduous journey. Hey, I'm in it. Yeah. Hiro Sarwa-san deals in a variety of weapons for us. But my weapons? I've always got them on me. <laughs> I dive right into the fray and dish out the pain. This might not be as flashy as some of your weapons, but they're my pride and joy. In that case... Just tell me if you ever want to fight with your fist, too. I'll whip up a solid training regimen for you. Thanks. The economics results for April. The economy seems to be on the rise again. Though a touch of inflation has led some consumers to complain. <laughs> Must be nice, just a touch of inflation. Hmm. It's too bad about that girl, Fuka Yamagishi, huh? It would have been nice if a girl in the same year as me joined. Uh, and I still can't put anything in here, right? I think it's the end of the month, a few more days. Um, I'm wondering if we should do any one of these. So I need to raise uh, Courage and Charm. Uh, today if I go to the arcade, it's Courage. Mm. Uh, 
I think I'll just raise my my courage. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna work. Cause that way I don't have to spend the money and I get uh I raise both at the same time. It's pretty crowded today. I have to work more efficiently than usual. Customers are ordering a lot today. Cafe is filled with pheromones. I mustered out my courage and helped arguing customers resolve their issues. Gave you a little bonus to top your usual pay. Thanks for helping me out during peak time. 3500 Not bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can hear people talking. So it turns out that cactus I bought at the 100 yen store was fake this whole time. How can you not tell the difference? No wonder it didn't wither. And here I thought I was taking such great care of it. Do cacti wither? I know they kind of dry up, but I don't know if they wither. I don't know. Oh my god, that's hilarious. You put so much effort into watering it too. If you want a real plant, get one from a home center. Or, you know, an actual flower shop. Mm. Yeah, I think I'll buy one from the flower shop on Port Island. I heard they've been selling seedling seedlings for home gardening lately. Oh, true. We should actually hit that up. Uh, yeah. I might find some new seedlings there. Should check out what's in stock every now and then. First spell is wrong. You seem to know Kirijo-san, but you're not going after her, are you? Uh... I sure am. I don't think it's a good idea, since she lives in a totally different world than the rest of us. I have a feeling that if a guy tries something funny, her bodyguards will break his neck. I haven't seen any bodyguards, to be fair. So this whole time there was a Persona user in the class next door, huh? Dude, we've been missing out. What if she's cute? Yeah, what if? Exams suck, don't they? You have to study so much and your score gets posted. If you do bad, everyone will laugh at you. Uh, there was also that girl... She's sometimes out here. Uh, assume counts room. Yeah, that'll be the Emperor one. What's this one? Oh, same thing. I don't know if I should buy more of this lukewarm thing. Lukewarm Taiyaki. 94. Uh, well, it's, it's always there, so I guess we can wait. We can hold off. Oh. Are you leaving now? Uh, hmm. No, I don't want to... I don't want to open up her social link just yet. What's in here? Home economics? Oh, right. That's Bebe. The French guy that we saw in the bookstore. Yeah. Speaking of bookstore, that's where we're going to go. Uh, but first... Let's hit up Port Island Station. We'll try and get some of the seedlings. Alright, very sorry about that, guys. I don't know what's going on with uh, my computer lately. Welcome. Right. Take your time looking around. What kind of flowers are you looking for today? Potato spread. Grow a potato that enhances battle ability. Um, I think I'll buy like 
Oh wow, that's expensive. 700, eh? Um, let's buy three. Please come again. See, things have a reputation for growing very fast. They also stock special varieties that you won't find anywhere else. Why don't you try growing some? Okay, thanks. Maybe I will. Let's see if we can talk to that cat again. No. Since we're here, might as well check out the vending machine. Uh, these are all HP. I don't want HP ones. Monorail was nearly in a big accident the other day. I heard it was just a few feet away. It's just like one of those action thrillers, you know? Whoever stopped that train is a real-life hero. Yeah, I, I reckon he or she or they or it is. Alrighty. Let's go to Strip Mall. I uh, feel like we can grow closer. Perfect. Yes. Enter the bookstore. I believe we're rank six with this couple. Oh, welcome. Thank you. Uh. Uh. Are you fighting again? What happened? Ah, uh, don't you worry. She's she's crying because she's happy. She's an emotional woman, bless her heart. She's been like this since the day we met. You see, all the graduates from my son's class have come together. They're collecting signatures to save the persimmon tree. They say the tree is a memorial to their former teacher. They don't want it to be cut down. That's really sweet. That's great. It was the same for our son's funeral. Many of them showed up for it. It's been so many years since then, but they still remember him. They've given their precious time for our son. I, I don't know what to say. I I'm so grateful. You must be the one who called on them for this, right? Uh... I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna say no. Ah, don't pretend, it's just us. You don't have to be so modest. You're a samurai, a modern day samurai. Two seem to think I'm the one responsible for the petition. They're showing considerable gratitude. I feel like we're growing closer. So now rank seven? Yeah, seven, nice. We're almost there, guys. Before you know it, you'll graduate and step boldly into adulthood. Don't forget about us, you hear? Someday I'd love to grab a drink, you and me. But for now, you'll have to make do with this. More fried bread? See you missed? Sure, thanks. See you again soon. Aw, uh, that's actually kind of sweet. Starting a petition. Welcome back. What's up, dude? Do you have some time? I'm a little disappointed about Yamagishi-kun as well. It's quite difficult to find someone who has the potential. Wouldn't you feel more confident in your abilities with more team members? Uh, that's true. That'd be correct. Thankfully, Sonata-kun has rejoined the team. So mind your own biz. Hey. Dude, my persona just keeps getting stronger and stronger. I feel like I could take on any enemy now. Okay, well, maybe not just any enemy, but I do feel like I've gotten a lot better than before. Now, if only my grades would go up, too. Huh, I guess you do have some self-awareness. Hey, don't make this serious. It was just one of those self-deprecating jokes. Ugh, now I'm depressed for real. Those boxing gloves? Yeah, they are. Nice one. In my eyes, Tartarus is the best place we can find training for the bo mind and body. Although I do understand Mitsuru's concerns about the pal about the place. Is there even a top floor to that thing? If so, what's at the top? Ugh, just thinking about it gives me the shivers. Okay. 
We want to go... What do we want to do today? We are Wednesday. Academics? Um, I guess we'll work again. Because today's the last day I can work here for this week. Sweat it out while working part-time as a waiter. Sweat it out, baby. I found an infamous bug and got rid of it before customers noticed. Good on you. I've increased your hourly wage. Nice. Keep doing what you're doing. funny how like we spend like what let's say maybe four or five hours there in the evening working we make yeah. that much money just for like one or two fights what's up dude so what do you think of what yeah about the girl Fuka Yamagishi I haven't lost all hope that she'll join our team dude I've actually seen her around and yeah she does look kind of frail but that just makes me want to be strong for the two of us that's kind of sweet, I guess. It's like a backhanded compliment. Topic. Let's see. Today I'll be covering the Kofun period in our history. I don't know, though. Do any of you think this stuff's relevant? I mean, I could slap together some clay statues that look a lot better than theirs did. Ouch. Can't wait till we get to the Sengoku era. It's so much more exciting. Speaking of the Sengoku, the Sengoku era... There was this one general that they called the Warhawk of the Battlefield. Looks like this turned into another Sengoku lecture. Uh, no, we want to stay awake. And so. And that's how the period came to be known as the Sengoku era. Huh, you want to hear some more about the Kofun period? Well, if you insist, uh, go look up the Ketora tomb in Nara. It's really famous. I forced myself to stay awake. I'm actually a little bit smarter because of it. Class has ended. Uh, main lobby. Oh, is she out there? I just want to talk to that one girl again. Yeah, she's over there. Uh, um. Yuki-san, um, about what happened the other day, I am sort of overreacted, and I uh, just wanted to say I'm sorry. I get really nervous when I talk to people, although I know I should really do something about it. It's especially bad when I talk to boys. All I can think about is running away in that situation. Um... I'm a guy. I know. That's why I'm so nervous now. Sorry, I know I can't perform my duties on the student council if I'm like this. I have to try hard, harder to overcome this phobia. Thank you very much. Try to do my best. I don't think she's willing to talk to me anymore. I should try again another time. Yeah, you kind of have to talk to her a few times to open her up. Guys, seriously, you're here every fucking day. Get out of here. Hello. Yo. I'm gonna head out. How about you? Uh, I don't think our bond will grow. Uh, let's see about the old couple. I kind of want to finish their story. Feel like I might grow closer. Good. Let's do it. here we've been waiting for you i wanted to tell you the good news as soon as possible it's about a customer who came by earlier who do you think it was here's a hint signature a petitioner a fan of yours 
I don't know if I should be cheeky or give the actual answer. I'm gonna say it's yours. That's right. How'd you guess? One of my fans came by. He said he'd bring the rest of the fan club next time. Yeah, I wish. Actually, it was one of the organizers of a campaign to save the persimmon tree. He said, let's protect the tree together. He's already gathered a number of signatures from students who are in our son's class. That's amazing. Everyone's banding together to honor the memory of our son. He really was loved by many. Of course. He was our proud son. I'm sure he's just as happy as we are. All right. Let's go to GeckoCon right now. I have to tell my son the good news. Ooh. Uh... Sure, let's go. That's my boy! <laughs> Music to my ears! <laughs> I've never been so excited to go for a walk before. Elderly couple is showing their affection for me. I feel like we're growing closer. Level late, baby! Let's race to the persimmon tree. I won't lose. Not even to a youngster like you. All right, dear. We'll be back. Thanks for watching the store. Visited the tree with Bunkichi san and then returned to the dorm. Oh, it's you. Welcome back. Oh, thank you. It's strange. Number of <coughs> excuse me. Number of apathy syndrome victims seems to be on the rise again. Evidently, the prior decline was only temporary. Uh -huh. If that's the case, then what's the point of fighting? No. If we do nothing, then everyone will eventually join the lost. Our efforts have prevented the crisis from escalating to that yeah. point. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'd hate to see what the city would be like if we couldn't use our personas. Check TV. A 40-year-old man was sent to the hospital last night. According to his doctors, he's a victim of apathy syndrome. Yikes. Hello. Yeah. Thinking about how many of our victims there'd be if we couldn't fight shadows is pretty depressing. I'm glad you moved here. It's a lot less overwhelming with you here. There's no telling when all this will end, but together, I know we can do it eventually. That's sweet. Uh, look at the bulletin board. There's school printouts and newspaper clippings as well as handwritten signs. Don't leave personal items in the lounge. Don't make loud, loud noises late at night. Looks like dorm rules. Uh, we are Thursday. Today we would increase our charm. Hmm. Yeah, let's go raise our charm. The dating center teaches how to tend to a lady. Let's do it. Play the dating simulator, high school of youth. Practice some lines and mannerisms that I can use to make a good impression with girls. Because we all know how accurate those dating sims are. I can hear people talking. Have you heard? I heard from a younger guy in my club yesterday that his second year is getting bullied. Huh? Uh oh. That's crazy. Which second year? Um... I don't know. Well, I heard that it's pretty serious. I thought our school was peaceful, but I guess stuff like that still happens here. Seems like someone in the same grade as me is getting bullied. That's not good. Alright, alright. Oh god, this guy again. Quiet down, class. 
It's time to begin today's lecture. Progredio Adio Lucum Siderum. I'm changing today's lecture to another integrated learning one, since Miss Ricotta left early today. <coughs> Excuse me. He claimed he wasn't feeling well. Looked fine enough to me, though. Quick word of caution. Make sure you know what you're eating before you take a bite. I covered the basics of learning magic last time. So today, I'll go a bit deeper into meditation. First, let's review the ways that magicians will meditate. To heighten the creative impulse, the source of all your magical power, observe a real-world object carefully, then recreate it in your mind, down to the last tiny detail. That's the Western standard for meditation. But I'd like to talk about the Eastern style as well. Meditation was originally refined in the East, and modern magicians adapted Eastern meditation for their own original style. You find the right posture, take a deep breath, in and out, and calm your mind. That's the basic practice of the Eastern style. It doesn't take much to practice meditation either. All you need is some free time and a relatively calm environment. It doesn't take long, but you should give yourself at least 15 minutes of a proper session. Now for, now for the specifics. First, your posture. Just take a position that you find comfortable. Sitting cross-legged is good enough for most, but you can try the full lotus position, too. It's sometimes called kekafuza. You can even meditate while sitting in a chair. Any position works as long as it's comfortable. Once your breathing is relaxed, close or cover your eyes and let the rest of your body relax too. Now that you've prepared yourself physically, you'll focus next on your mind and soul. Imagine a symbol, some simple image, perhaps a large tree or the moon. It could even be the god of your own faith if you like. However, do not force yourself to fully empty your mind. That's actually a common misconception. Most people aren't even capable of it. I'm definitely not. I've tried meditating and I, I can't do it. I got too much stuff running through my mind at all times. But succeeding is especially dangerous. You run the risk of losing all control of yourself. I'm feeling sleepy. Uh, no. That is to say. So what have we learned? Meditation can be aided through iconography rather than forcing an empty mind. Even Christian prayer can reach a level of meditation if practiced fervently enough. Although, in that case, the Im imagined symbol is present for a reason other than meditational aid. It can be dangerous to plumb the depths of your consciousness. But by keeping a clear symbol in mind, you avoid teetering over the edge and plunging into the darkness. Go ahead and try meditating tonight if you'd like. Alright, that's it for today. getting double for all that. Hello. <sighs> what a workout. I gotta teach those first years how to clean up properly. <laughs> so then, I pretended to take a picture with my cell phone. And she totally freaked out and started crying. It was like we caught her red-handed or something. You should have seen the look on her face. It was priceless. Wow, that's pathetic. <laughs> I've never laughed so hard in all my life. <laughs> They're making fun of someone? Bullies. Did you hear a voice? It's calling me. Huh? What voice? I don't hear anything. Oh. Uh, Maki? What's going on? Are you listening to me? She in a trance? Maki? Hello? Oh. Huh? Are you feeling all right? Yeah, yeah, sorry. Uh, what were we talking about? <sighs> They're finally gone. Ugh, I can't stand girls like that. Bullies are assholes. For sure. Um, 
Let's see if we can go talk to the couple. So, I guess those, um, what are they called? The Twilight Fragments. I guess they don't respawn. It's just a one-time thing. That's a shame. What the hell? Oh. I wouldn't have used them all in, uh, in the run. Oh well, that's fine. Uh, might grow closer. Cool. Oh my, dear, there's a mistake there. That's not how you write, GeckoCon. I know, I know. I hardly ever write it, so. I just forgot how it looked for a second. I feel a little bad for all the people who've been campaigning to save the tree. Oh! Huh, speak of the devil! Uh, I'm writing a letter. Something I haven't done in ages. I'm used to the keyboard doing all the work for me. What, is that surprising? I'm actually quite the net surfer, you know? I bet. Uh... Why a letter? What does the letter say? No! Oh, no, no, don't look! Oh, I'm shy. <laughs> we'll tell you when the time is right. Are you curious about the letter? Excited, perhaps? Even exhilarated? Excited or exhilarated? Exhilarated. We are, too. We spend every day looking forward to the chance of seeing you again. Sometimes, you even make me feel smarter. Maybe I should just go back to school. Ha! Just kidding. Two's going to trust me deeply. Alright, one more to go. That said, I, I hope we can wrap up the matter before your next visit. All right, we're making some good progress. Welcome back. Sub, dude. Sub, bra. Sub, bra. Hey, so. God, I hate bullying. Even just seeing it happen to someone else, it just feels as bad. Um, I feel the same. Yeah. Right? I ever heard these girls today talking about how they were picking on someone. I couldn't tell who they were talking about or anything though. I wish I could do something. Yeah, bowling's bowling's no joke. Hey. Dude, my persona just keeps getting stronger and stronger. I feel like I could take on an enemy oh. now. Uh, didn't we already say all this stuff too? What? Maybe I thought it was a uh, new one. Um, Friday today we raise courage. Let's let's do that. going on there let's see if it's here first oh whoops uh, let's check the station first there's that reporter oh it's you yo yo Yuki do you see my text message want to go grab a bite I did not see your text message uh, Sanada has invited me to join him. This might be a good opportunity to get to know him better. Should I spend the evening with Sanada? Yeah. I mean, if we can help raise his persona stats, why the fuck yes. not? Let's go. I've gotten a lot of my edge back since I've been able to focus on my training. I've been meaning to thank you for that. <laughs> You've really stepped up as our leader. So tonight's on me. You've got enough responsibility as it is. That's nice of you. And handle it. <laughs> you really are something else. I knew I had a good feeling about you. 
Just don't push yourself too hard. Things will get easier with experience. And if you need anything, let me know. I'll do whatever I can to help. Uh, excuse me. I knew it! You're Sonata-san from Gekukon High! I heard you lived in Iwatodai. But wow! I never thought I'd run into you here! We're big fans of yours! Please, can we get a picture with you? I'm busy, and I don't like having my picture taken. I kept hearing rumors that you were injured. Uh, are you okay now? Do you need any help? I is there anything I can bring you? Wow. Such simps. Who, who do you think that is? You know. I'm not sure. Celebrity, maybe? Wanna go see? Let's go. Wait, Sonata Son! I've had this problem at school, but I didn't think it happened out here, too. It's probably because of those interviews, or the rumors online. I've gotten all kinds of attention as I've kept up my winning streak. Sounds rough. <laughs> you could say that again. I'm not some panda in a zoo for everyone to gawk at. All I want is to be as strong as I can. I want to train hard and feel real pride in my strength. But all I ever seem to get is more trouble. All right, looks like they've given up. Let's head out to eat, for real this time. We only have so many hours left in the day. It's true. Hey, don't be like that. I know a place that'd be perfect for us, girl. Please, just leave us alone. We're not interested. One drink, that's all we're asking. Come on. Are those the same It'll girls? Fun. We said no, okay? Yeah, it is. It's those girls from earlier. <laughs> hey. Leave them alone. You don't want the police to get involved, do you? Huh? Who the hell are you? What? You want to call the cops? Quit trying to act like a big man, you little punk. Yeah, time for you to piss off. <laughs> you piece of... Hold up. You got some slick moves. I bet you know how to fight, all right? So what if I do? How about you and I go a few rounds? If you ain't too busy, there's a spot around back. Whenever I see guys who think they're hot shit, all I want to do is put them in their place. I bet like a lot yourself? of people call you a tough guy. So how about we put it to the test? Hmm. What, is he scared now? <laughs> see? I told you, nothing but trouble. Stay here. I'll be done in a minute. What? You think you're gonna beat me just like that? But don't worry. I won't go all out against an amateur. It's gotta be a fair fight. <sighs> hey! Over there! Break it up! Uh, let's beat it. I told you, officer. They were the ones antagonizing us. And I told you we'll hear all about it down at the station. Wow. You're high school students, aren't you? We'll need your contact information to notify your parents about this. If I could butt in. And Kurosawa-san. I'll handle these two. I've already cleared it with the brass. I don't know what's going on here, but you better not be starting any trouble. There was no trouble. Then why'd we get a report from two ladies saying you were attacked by a group of punks? They wanted to test my strength. I was just giving them what they wanted. In the middle of a public street? You really need to think things through. Listen. I'm an officer of the law. I don't care who you are. Anyone who disturbs the peace is gonna have to deal with me. 
As you can see, your friend here is a bit of a hothead. I know it won't be easy, but try and keep an eye on him, would you? Leave it to me. Those are some bold words, but thanks. My arm's healed, and we've got way more dependable people now. There's no better time to test my strength, especially now that we have someone like you. We really lucked out on that one. So yeah, I'm gonna did. keep honing my skills. That way, I can put down anyone I face with my own two hands. <laughs> you really haven't changed at all. In any case, don't get in over your heads. I have a hunch the guys you ran into were from a gang that's been active around here recently. Just be careful. You don't want to get on their bad side, because once you're on it, you'll never get off. All right, it's late. You better head on home. So much for eating out. It's been non-stop interruptions all night. <sighs> Kurosawa-san's right, though. We should probably head home. Sorry about this. I'll treat you some other time. I'm gonna do some jogging on the way back. You wanna join? Sure. Good answer. It's dark, so watch out for cars. I'm gonna run ahead. You just follow at your own pace. I ran back to the dorm. I feel like my stamina has improved after running that long of a distance. Max HP increased by five. Cool. Yeah, I didn't really say much during that whole ordeal. I just kind of wanted to see where it was going. Um, if we had the choice to kind of stop uh, Akiko from fighting, I don't know if I would have necessarily been like, let's just walk away. Because, you know, tough guys like that that just want to pick on you, just bullying, you kind of want to shove it in their face a little bit, right? Just to kind of make them eat their own words a little bit. But at the same time, it's like, you got nothing to prove to no one except yourself, right? So... Have you heard about that second year? Yep, yep. Oh yeah, the one they found lying in front of the school gate this morning, right? Hopefully she just ran away from home, but I feel like this is the start of something big. You know what? Yeah, there might be reporters and camera crews and stuff. I'd rather not deal with that. Wonder who this girl is. They could keep talking about. Hey, did you hear about that girl in 2E? Yeah, I heard they have no idea what happened. Oh my god, isn't it so bizarre? Man, everyone's talking about it. People sure got a lot of time on their hands. So, you hear about it too? Uh, I haven't. A girl from 2E went missing while she was out late last night. And this morning, they found her lying in front of the school gate. Nobody knows what happened. And supposedly, she's still unconscious. Morning. Yo, Yukatan. Man, this is a tough case. Even for Junpei Yori, Ace Detective. <laughs> Ace Detective? You're so dumb. Hmm. More like Stupe, Ace Defective. Zing. Where'd that come from? Actually, now that I think about it, I haven't seen you all morning. Where you been? I was talking to the teacher. And that girl they found? I saw her yesterday on my way back from practice. She seemed just fine then. Mm. Uh, the plot thickens. So I guess it's the girl that kind of like started uh, going into that trance, like just zoning out. I guess it was her. Class has ended. All right, Junpei, what do you got for me? I pitted a fool who don't know when to quit. Ace detective at the plate. Mr. J says throw in the towel, boy. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna do dot dot dot. Yeah. Dude, the hell, you're just gonna ignore me like that? Not cool, bro. I love Junpei. Don't get me wrong, but like, like, come on, dude. Rumors suck, man. It's the one about the girl who collapses already all over the school. I hope no one spreads any rumors about me. Oh! Oh, Yuki-kun. You know these rumors. They're a little creepy. Yeah? 
I, I do know. Uh, she is there. Let's talk to her one last time. This should unlock her thing, I think. Hello. I was able to say hello to you. Although, the more I think about it, the more nervous I get. Hope I can get better at this somehow. Um... Do I want to hang out with her now? No. Good luck. Yes. Thank you. I'll try. So we'll talk to her another time. I think uh, once we actually hang out with her, it'll fully unlock her arcana. But I want to finish off the old couple. Uh, something tells me I'm not gonna. We're not gonna finish it today. Yeah, I don't think our bomb will grow stronger. That's okay. Don't you think so, Makoto-chan? <laughs> oh, you. I can feel my bomb with the two of them grow stronger. It's almost dark. So today was Saturday, so academics is at the arcade. Oh, welcome back. Thank you. Did you hear the rumor going around school? I mean, come on, a ghost story? I think they'll be old enough to know ghosts aren't real. Anyway, um, I'm feeling kind of uneasy all of a sudden, so I think I'll go to bed early. Sorry. Oh, so I won't be going to Tartarus today then. Sorry. Fantastic. Hmm. Seems Takabakun has a sixth sense when it comes to shadows. Actually, that's quite common. Dealing with shadows has a tendency to enhance other senses. Oh, right. Apparently, Tartarus is off limits today. Mitsuru's in training, and Takaba has a bad feeling right now. She she could be any more mysterious about it. I don't know. You're an Aquarius, and your lucky color is red. For extra luck, try sticking your thumbs all thumbs up all day long. Try it. If you're an Aquarius, thumbs up, both of them, all day. Let me know how it goes. I'm curious. Uh, let's see if we can talk to Takiba. The Takibi. Takibiba. Kari doesn't seem to be in her room. Weird. So where is she then? Hello, Mitsuru. I apologize. Sorry, but I'm in the middle of training my persona to search for enemies. Oh, sorry. Uh, if you're planning on going to Tartarus, perhaps it'd be better to go on another night. What did you say? The others appear to be busy as well. Stop. Let's check on these guys. It's planted. Six, four. So four more days. Okay, um, town map, is there anything going on? No. Um, let's go on the computer today. <sighs> Need courage to play this. Requires courage to defeat zombies through typing. Oh, fuck it. We'll go in order. Virtual diet. Now you too can have a slim body without having to suffer through exercise. First, train yourself to curb your appetite by looking at blue food. There's not a lot of blue food out there, is there? I mean, there's nothing in nature that's really naturally brew. Like, even blueberries are actually purple. You know? Not that I can think of off the top of my head. Looking at all the blue food on screen is making me lose my appetite. Yeah, blue doesn't look that appetizing either. I'm finished watching all the videos. I feel like I have a slimmer, more attractive body already. So that raised my charm, I guess? And it did. 
It's gotten late. I should head back to my room. Got a day off, boy. It's no school. It's amazing commodities! I'm going to do it! Alright. This is the healthy lifestyle set. Want to show off how much healthier you are than everyone else around you? Then do we have just a thing for good, you. Good. First up, we have the health sandals. Stay healthy from your head to your toes wearing these. Oh my goodness, it's wonderful. But wait, there's more. Not bad, kid. We'll throw in this diet food too. Guess how many? All this just for 3,980 yen. <coughs> um, I don't know what the health sandals do. You know what? Sure. Why not? Let's buy it. Thanks, kid. Thanks, kid. Bye bye. Bye. Uh, so we'll talk to Maya today. And we have the Hermit Persona. I don't think our bond will grow. That's fine. I see Maya. I chatted with Maya for a while. Bond between us is growing. Feel like our relationship will grow stronger soon. Were you in your room all this time? Yeah. Why, do you want something? Hmm? Hi, Ro. Honestly. This incident is quite troubling. As the student council president, I need to do something. Though it doesn't help that I have no idea what's really going on. If you wanna go ahead, you do Seriously? Damn, rumors spread fast, especially this one. Everyone at school knows about it. Soon everyone in town will, too. By the way, if you're looking for Mitsuru, she's in the back of the reception area. Apparently she's uploading the dorm's records or something to the school server. She's got to do it every so often. I know it's her job, but still. She's really got a lot on her plate. Hmm. The girl they found was one of those girls. The girl they found was one of those girls I overheard talking about bullying someone. It's probably unrelated though, right? Um... That's Ace Detective. <sighs> oh, you're talking about Junpei. Seriously, he's such an idiot. Uh, I think we can put stuff in the fridge today. Bit of space. Chill it. Should come back tomorrow or later. We'll finally find out what it does. So... Okay. Uh, I'm just looking for like the exclamation points to see if like there's any anyone wants to form the C's group that wants to hang out. Although I guess I could just check my messages. Uh, we'll do language made easy today. I just finished my own business. Feel free to use it. I don't know why we can't just use this stuff on our own computer. There are conversational dialogues paired with pictures for overseas travelers. The protagonist wants to go to the airport, but keeps getting distracted on the way. I watch as they speak with broken grammar to get a discounted burger. Eventually, the protagonist overcame the language barrier and reached the airport. This is going to raise their academics, I think? I feel more confident in my speaking skills now. Oh, it might be charm. Oh no, academics. We're switching to the summer uniform today. It's almost time to leave. You're just standing in the middle of your room. Good morning. Morning. 
Student body seems to be rather restless lately. Don't you agree? Uh, is that so? Hmm. You don't sense it? Well, I only hope it doesn't have anything to do with shadows. Akiko said we may be receiving a new member, but we still don't know when we'll be attacked. So remain alert at all times. Class has ended. Those can be creepy, but they don't have to be right. Oh, but they don't have to be, right? If there was a ghost that looked like a cute girl, I wouldn't mind being haunted by it. Well, as long as she doesn't devour my soul or something. Fair enough. Uh, Naganaki Shrine. Let's talk to the girl. To Maiko. Want to hang out with us today? Us? Uh, never mind. One second. Sorry, I'm just looking around. I thought there was someone up there. They're just the dogs. This looks like there's someone there with like a sweater or something. Alright. Yeah, let's hang out. Yay! This uh, child voice actor is actually pretty good. Hey, hey! I'm assuming it's a child voice actor. If it's an adult, that's a really damn high pitch, high pitch, the uh, low tone, I guess. High tone, high tone. Have you, you know seen Stripey? I mean. We were playing tag, but I don't know where he went. You don't look so good. Are you sick? Yes. I'm surprised you could tell. Huh? You really are sick? <laughs> no. I was kidding. You're so easy, Maiko. No fair! I trusted you! Don't tease me just because I'm a kid! And who are you? I'm Maiko's friend. Ah, uh, so you're the one she was talking about. I was wondering what you were like. Do you see yourself as her guardian? Or are you simply two children playing together? Hey! I'm hungry now! I want takoyaki! Takoyaki! You can eat with us too, Stripey! No, I'll pass, thanks. See you later. He's gone. I usually see him around the shrine on Sundays. I pass by on the way to cram school. Okay, it's takoyaki time! Yeah, we'll we'll be seeing more of that stripey <gasps> striped shirt guy. It's so hot I almost burn myself! I remember one time my dad burned his mouth on this stuff because I put too many in his mouth at once. He was like, oh. Dad hasn't been coming home much these days. It's my birthday soon. Do you think he'll come home and see me? Don't worry, he'll be there. <gasps> you really think so? My mom always gives me presents on my birthday. She hasn't asked me what I want this year yet. If they really loved me, they wouldn't get a divorce. You're the only one who spends time with me. Maiko seems to have taken a liking to me. I feel like we're growing closer. She really is a oh. sweet kid. Today's laundry day. If I don't do laundry, the house gets really messy. See you later, okay? Mike headed off and I returned to the dorm.
one thing I will say, just really hey, quickly. Yikitan, you ever check out the student message boards and stuff? Is that there are times <clears throat> there are times where this game will actually tug on your heartstrings so hard. It'll come out of nowhere. Um, all the Persona games that I played, uh, 3, 4, and 5. It's, uh, again, it catches you unawares and it hits you surprisingly hard. That's one of the things I love about these games. Because, um, again, it's... You, you want to get attached to these characters. Like You're, you're, you're basically playing the span of, of a whole year in these games, right? You're putting 80 hours into the game itself. 80 plus hours. Um, you get attached to these characters, you know, and there's so many of them, but you know all their stories. You remember everything about them. So, it doesn't always turn out great, either. It's not always a happy ending. And I really like that. I really... It doesn't betray the arcs of these characters by always putting a happy ending to stuff. There's conclusions, uh, but not always necessarily closure. Um, and it, hit, it hits hard, because it's stuff that people, a lot of people can relate to. Yeah. Anyways, back to the game. You know how last week that girl was found by the front gate? Well, now, they're saying it was an angry spirit from this one ghost story that did it. Come on, nobody really believes that stuff, right? What's this ghost story about? What? It's probably made up. We don't need to go into details, do we? I'm interested. Go on, tell us. Hmm... You got it. Here goes. Tell us. Ooh. Ooh, light stimmed. Nice. Good evening, and welcome to Junpei's Believe It or Don't. There are many strange things in this world. Legend has it, late at night, after everyone has gone home, a maniacal ghost roams the halls and devours anyone caught in its grasp. The other day, this friend of mine, let's call him Witness A. Anyway, he said to me, Hey, Iori, I saw something weird the other day. He sounded so serious, so I asked him what he'd seen. He told me he saw the girl from 2E and claims he watched her go into the school on the night before the incident! Oh, I told him I don't believe it, not even for a second. That girl from 2E ain't the type to go wandering around at night. But Witness A was as white as a sheet. He swore to me it was true. Just one quick thing. I love the shading around his character model. Like, the dialogue model, I mean. You can actually see, like, the light underneath. Like, he's got the, the shadows on his face. Yeah. Then, it hit me. If the girl was found unconscious at school, then maybe the ghost really did make her its dinner. It all made sense. She went to the school at night and walked right into its deadly trap. I felt a chill run down my spine, and I broke into a cold sweat. Yes, there truly are some strange things in this world. Believe it, or don't. What do you think, Akihiko? Seriously? Not one word about my amazing performance just now? I'm not so interested in the ghost part, but it does sound like it's worth investigating. So, you're afraid of ghosts, huh, Yukata? Didn't know you were such a chicken. What? Who are you calling a chicken? Fine then, let's investigate it. Each of us will ask around for the rest of the week and gather information. This ghost story is just a bunch of nonsense. I'll show you. Sounds good to me. The story is a bit unnerving, isn't it? Huh? Well, leave it to you guys then. Would have been too scary for me. <laughs> what? 
Come to think of it, the taiyaki I put in the fridge should be chilled by now. Maybe I should get it. Let's do it. Let's see what this shit's all about. What? So whoever put the taiyaki in here, sorry I couldn't help myself. My bad, so here, I'll trade you some cup ramen. Are you fucking kidding me? I put five in there and he gives me two instant ramen? Yo. Dumbass. How much does ramen even give me? 100 to one ally. Son of a bitch. I put five in there, man. Let's see. Sakiba won't go to Tartarus tonight. Perhaps it'll be better to go when everyone can join us. Though I have to admit I'm a bit curious about those supposed hauntings. Oh? Mikari seems pretty serious. Well, it's good to be that invested in things. If you're free, how about lending her a hand? Oh, goodness, no. Hmm. This isn't good. We're getting a lot of inquiries from parents and reporters alike. Let's see the text messages. Part-time position. Oh, right, it's Monday. Sorry. I'm trying to find stuff online about the ghost story. Seems like it could take a while, though. So I'm not going to go to Tartarus today. Yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, I'll probably go work, actually. Let's see what's on TV. The sky is covered in dark clouds. For those who are fighting, the light has not broken... Has not yet broken through. For those who are fighting. That concludes our special report. Coming up next, the news. You know, I just realized we haven't saved in quite a while. Oh, whoops. Um, yeah, we still got a few days for the, uh, for the garden. For our plump, ripe tomatoes. Hello, skilled reporter. Another victim of these mysterious incidents was found at Gekukan High. Since the victim was at the front gate, that must be the scene of the crime. If the victim was attacked somewhere else, it would have to be carried to the front gate. But why would the culprit do such a thing? The reasoning doesn't add up. Anyway, there's a high probability that Gekukan itself is involved in all this somehow. Um, let's see if that shady guy has some new stuff that he could sell us. That girl's been shy all her life. Doesn't She doesn't talk to people she doesn't know easily. Though I guess that fortune teller does have a different air about her. Seems like someone who has something special. You know that fortune teller, the one they call Demother or Mama? She's got a very weird presence. It's like she's in another world. I want her to tell my fortune, but I don't have the courage to talk to her. Oh, yeah. Look for you. Nope. <laughs> Nothing new. Um, how much is telling our fortune? Allow me to provide you with a new fortune benefiting the, usual, the unusual light that you hold within. You are na now able to select the new fortune, Gamble Fortune. What is Gamble Fortune? Oh my, there's a haste surrounding the Tower of Shadow. Seems you won't be entering the tower tonight. Please return another day for your fortune. Want to know my future? I feel another change. Strong wind blows across the world, sending up blue flowers petals into the air. How will you interpret this wind? As a weak and fail frail breeze, or a brave and mighty gust? Let us hope that you find fortune in your destiny. So I guess she has actual fortunes to tell us. Alright, Chagall. Chagall. Chagallier. I sweatered it out. Found that infamous bug. Always shows up.
Our courage should be going up soon. Sooner than our charm, anyway. Oh. Usually, if you can't go to Tartarus, uh, there's a reason because there's a story. Evening. There's a story uh, element coming in. Good evening. Good evening. I'm back, just as I promised. How have you been? It's you. I'm glad you remember me. In another week, the moon will be full again. The next ordeal will be upon you. Be careful. Until next time. So it seems every full moon will be, uh, will be fighting some kind of boss. Morning. I'm just going to do my best from today onwards. Good luck. Hey, listen. Do you even know what I'm talking about? Well, whatever. I'm going to look into everything there is about that ghost story. Remember, we'll share our findings on Friday. Could you also try gathering information too, Yuki-kun? Like, maybe you could talk to some students after school? Uh, I could try. So, in this section... Ah, this phrase, Mono Susa Majiku, also appears in Ugetsu Monogatari. I'm not going to remember any of this. Of all the Ugetsu tales, I'm most fond of the one about the vengeful ghost wife. Such an eerie yet po poignant story. Speaking of which, I've got a pretty good ghost story of my own. Care to hear it? I'm feeling sleepy. You're going to fall asleep during a ghost story? Ugh. Yes, I am too. Yes, precisely. Then, my friend, the one who came with me into the tunnel suddenly screamed. There's a girl right behind you. We ran back home, scared out of our wits. Not long after that, I started hearing the strangest thumping noises coming from inside the wall. And the faintest voice croaking. Let me out. Let me out. As far as I knew, the room had always been vacant. Who was in my wall? So one night, I decided to go right up to the wall where the sounds came from and knock on it. Hey, hey, hey. All of a sudden, right in my ear, I hear this girl's voice loud and clear. I'm here! And that's where the youngest member of my family came from. She grew up just to be like any ordinary human, though. Nowadays, I only lie awake in fear that she'll run off and marry this loser she's been seeing. Oops, there's the bell. Okay, class. That's all for today. Wait, what? That wasn't even a lecture. How'd you get smarter from that? I think I lost IQ points just listening to that. Class has ended. Okay, so let's head to the couple and finish it off. Uh, let's go to the station first, uh, the uh, flower shop. Well, uh, See if there's any new seedlings. Uh, potato. We already have that one. Please. Check that cat. No. Maybe we have to wait to do something with the cat. Because, again, we have the cat food. Doesn't seem to be very well managed here. Oh, did I see a cat go back there? Yeah, that's fine. You want to die. What's up, bro? Gosh, look at all these apathy syndrome guys. We're skipping school and work, right? That's nice. I wish I had apathy syndrome, too. I could just sit there all day long, just like them. Yeah. I feel like I might grow closer.
I'll wake him up. Please, just wait a little while longer. Even if the tree is gone, you still live on inside us. Got your son is sleep talking. Looks like he's taking a nap. Um. Leave him be. Oh, uh, you're here. Uh, you you could have woken me up. <laughs> Why did you just want to admire my pretty face sleeping like a baby? Yes. Uh. Upsy daisy. Uh, we, we recently closed the book on a difficult matter, so I suppose the relief has put me at ease. Uh, it's the middle of the day, but I feel awfully sleepy. Uh, why are you relieved? Uh, while we're all here, I, I think it's time we told you. The truth is, we sent a letter to Gekokan. We asked them to go ahead and cut the persimmon tree down. But why? Just the reaction I was hoping for. It was more than worth it to surprise you like that. Sorry for doing this without running it by you. When we went to visit the tree together, I met a school faculty member on my way back. He told me the administration is planning to put up a new school building where the tree currently is. It would be selfish of an old man like me to deprive those young people of new learning opportunities. Helping children reach their potential is more important than clinging on to old memories. I think our son would agree. He was a teacher after all. Are you really sure? Yes. We had a long talk about it, and this was the conclusion we came to. You really set an example for young people, being so considerate to old folks like us. We pray with our son in heaven that more kind souls like you will graduate from GeckoCon. Here, we'd like you to have this. It's the first fruit produced by the persimmon tree. A little rough around the edges, just like our son. My dear was the one who suggested we give it to you. Persimmon fruit. This must be something very meaningful to the both of them. Their deep gratitude reached my heart. Finally matured. The innermost power of the Hierophant Arcana hath been set free. We now bestow upon thee the ultimate form of the Hierophant within thyself. Our offense social link reached its maximum level. You can now use fuse Koryu, the guardian of nature. Now, we have to cheer up and get on with our lives. We're too old to waste a single day. <laughs> if we kick the bucket while wasting our days away, I'm sure he'd laugh at us from heaven. It's hard on the parents to have such a well-respected son. Oh my, does it sound like I'm boasting? Oh. No. <laughs> Three of us chatted until sunset. Parted with the elderly couple and went back to the dorm. See what I'm saying? Like, it's stuff like that. It's... It's not the conclusion you're expecting. Um, and in a way, it's not even really... Um, a good at a happy ending. But it's... There's some kind of closure to it, you know? And, yeah, I mean, there's some people that would actually get really emotional with that. 
because it's it's very meaningful. Looks like the product art uh, through the shopping program on TV has arrived. Let's see what's inside. Well, sandals and diet food. Welcome back. What's up, dude? Hey, want to go to Tartarus later? Apathy syndrome has been on the rise or something, right? There are all these weirdo weird rumors going around school, so I feel antsy just doing <laughs> nothing. So why don't we go beating up a crap ton of shadows? You know, as a stress reliever. Yeah, or you can shut the fuck up because you ate my taiyaki. Um, okay, so... This smells so bad your appetite disappears. Restores 50 HP to one ally. So no poison. Wow, okay. Simulates pressure points. Can be painful if the wearer is unhealthy. So the health sandals just full out uh, nullify poison effects. That's actually pretty good. I thought those stories were all fake, but she seems to be doing actual research on them. Is this the power of Junpei's believe it or don't? What? What? You got a problem? Oh. Yeah, she's seriously pissed, man. Yeah. Uh. What did I get myself into? Actually, I didn't get myself into anything. This is all Junpei's fault. Stupe and his stupid believe it or don't. Ugh. Yo. Well, good luck. Whatever the reality is, this definitely sounds like it'll be interesting. I'm looking forward to the results. Hmm? Something that matter? Just wanted to chat. Could it be? It's difficult for me to believe that the incident was caused by ghosts. However, we are currently at a lack of a more logical explanation, so it may be worth looking into. Please let me know if you come across any useful information. So, shadows and ghosts, all in the same universe? Who knows? A scandal sent an unfortunate company stock prices plummeting today. At the close of trading today, the price per share had gone down as low as 4,242 yet. Imagine if there was a stock market uh, thing in this game. And like, let's say the more shadows you fight, like it either goes up or goes down. You can sell stocks and all that shit. Like manipulating the stocks based on how many shadows you fight. Oh, did I only put one? One Taiyaki? Uh, item. I still don't know what these do. Oh, you know what? They're probably used to, um... Crafts, weapons, and armor and shit. Which I don't think we have access yet. Proof from uh, enables fusion of Koryu, yeah. I can't even find a Taiyaki. Oh, look from Taiyaki. Yeah, I saw a four. All right. Um, what do we want to do today? Do I want to work? Looks like Tuesdays are busy, eh? To work more efficiently than usual. The customer's baby was bawling, but I managed to soothe them gracefully. 
Despite being busy, I responded to complaints about the slow service with sincerity. What's up, dude? Hey, are you, are you asking... Are you looking into the ghost story? Like, asking around about it? Uh... A little. I haven't done anything. Mm -hmm. I know you're lying, man. Well, not like I've done anything myself. I say we just let Yucatan handle it. I think she's just taking this way too seriously. I guess she could be pretty stubborn. As for me, I have plenty of scary stories on my sleeve already. I bet the story I told the other night made your hair stand on end. They say it's true, though. I don't think there is anyone you can really talk to. Um, class has ended. Uh, well, I guess we should do some digging. I wonder what people will say. It's a ghost story after all. It's true. Hey. Did you find out anything about the ghost story? I'm gonna prove to everyone it was just a rumor. And I'm not scared. Of, I'm not scared. All right. You guys know anything? No. All right. Do you know anything? Everyone's talking about the ghosts and that kind of stuff. I hate those kind of stories. Like how they say the ghosts will get you if you stay at school for too long. Um, I better get going. See ya. Did you hear? Uh, I haven't. Kirijo Senpai would want a man who likes to study. Maybe I should study more. If I become the smartest in my class, she might accept me, even though I'm a girl. Wow. Earnest student. Yamagishi-san is absent today, too. Okay. You know how ghost stories about the school are kind of popular right now? I'm not too good with that kind of stuff, so no talking about it, okay? It's not that scary. It was just like... If you're the last one left in the school buildings, you hear, you'll hear a creepy PA announcement. A sobbing old lady's voice comes from the speakers. And if you don't leave the school within 42 seconds, they'll find your corpse covered in bright red blood. That's all. Kind of reminds me of Monster Party. It's the men's room. I feel my mind starting to wander as I wash my hands. Planted a healthy tomato sprout. Can be harvested starting six four. Oh, that's cool. It helps you keep track of uh, stuff that you that you've um, that's like on a deadline or a countdown rather. So tomorrow we can pick up tomato stuff. Hello, the girl who collapses in my class. I heard she would run away from home and stay out all night. Maybe she got caught up in something bad. Maybe. One of the students who collapsed was in my sister's class. I guess she was running away from home as well. I heard she always hung around those thugs at, uh, at that one place. Something must have happened there. I uh, don't think there's anyone down here. Let's see if there's anyone around the corner. There is. Thought I could turn up some info, but I didn't find anything at all. All three passed out, but they were in different grades and different classes. Different clubs, too. So my investigation isn't going very well. Partly because all their friends were those thugs. And I obviously don't want to deal with them. So we got problems with thugs, eh? Ooh, got a bunch of people here. Damn, she's so persistent. She must have some kind of iron will to follow me around this much. She'd make a great detective. Did you see that? I just threw a rock at a bird resting on that branch. If he keeps that up, you might get possessed by evil spirits. But that's just a rumor, so probably not. I saw an old man pick a persimmon from the tree. It wasn't even ripe. Do you not know the story? Is this game for the school administrators? I should use the front entrance instead. Interesting. 
later. Got one around here. Okay. Uh, we'll go to the faculty. No one here. And let's just check the roof. Apparently there's no quick way to get to the roof. Uh, let's go the other way. The rough. Oh, someone here. I can't understand why people are freaking out over these ghost stories. I mean, running around school screaming and spreading rumors. Y'all just need to grow up. You're not wrong. Flower bed. This really is a pretty image. Even with those, uh, I guess they're wind turbines. Yeah. And then we want the school gates. I'm waiting for my boyfriend. I'm scared about all the stuff that's been happening lately, so he's going to walk me home. Good for you. Hey, I read those ghost stories were being spread around school on the internet. You know, the ones about those students who died, became ghosts, and ate humans. Wait, how would anybody know they ate humans? There wouldn't be any remains. I mean, you're assuming they ate all the bones and everything, too. There are not many animals that eat the bones of their prey. There are some, but not a lot. Work-related. The student meeting council, no need to respond. Just come to the student council room, that's all. How are you today? I'm doing okay. Rainbow. Uh, let's go to... Uh, whoops. Who do we have here? Hidetoshi and Bebe. I don't want Bebe. Not yet, anyway. Chubby student. I can't do anything with him. Taiko. Bukichi. Yeah. So... Even though Bunkichi and Mitsuko are maxed out, you can still go spend time with them. Uh, I'm not really sure what it accomplishes. Um, you might be able to get some like items out of them, like they'll give you like random items as they used to. But um, there really is no need to go back once you've maxed out a social link. Um, yeah. Let's go to Maiko. Yeah. Hi, do you think Stripey's okay? He said he's only here on Sundays, but I can't come that day. I wish we could play again, but I'll be okay since you're here. Uh, might grow closer. Let's do it. Try to spend time. Spend some time. Yay! Yay! So, you know how it was my birthday the other day? Well, guess what? Mom and Dad both remembered! They really do care about me. Of course they care. Yeah, you're right. I got so many presents. I even got a birthday cake. It's been so long since we ate together as a family. We used to do it all the time. How come Mom and Dad don't get along anymore? I know. I'll just ask them why. If I know why, I can fix it and make it all better. I'm gonna make mom and dad happy again. Wish me luck, okay? Mango seems fond of me. Like we're growing closer. We're now what? Rank four? Rank four. Okay. I'm gonna ask them. Bye bye. Let's play again later, okay? You know what's sad? I I can't see this going any other way than like just the one way where they're, they're gonna break up i don't remember how her how these uh things end up most of them anyway oh welcome back thank you akiko 
level <coughs> of gossip at school is getting pretty out of hand. Today there were three girls going on and on about a certain rumor. I really hope this gets taken care of sooner rather than later. <sighs> Dude, there are rumors all over school. Don't people have anything better to talk about? Now how are we supposed to figure out what's true or not? It's hopeless. Hey! Hey, did you do any research on that ghost story? I sure did. <laughs> really? I knew I could count on you, but man, there's sure a bunch of different stories floating around. Can't tell which are real and which are fake. Maybe they're all fake. Maybe. Oh, right. I've been meaning to go around the vending machines and grab more of these, uh, more of these drinks. There was one upstairs too, I believe. Uh, no. Uh, just thanks for our lounge. Uh, what are we? Wednesday? Academics, or we can work. Or we can do this. Let's try this. Uh, actually, you know what? Let me save just before I end. Because I'm wondering if there's like, you try to do it, but it doesn't work. You just spend time and not even get anything out of it. Animal Othello. This looks like a game where you play Othello against cutely drawn animals. And the elephant begins to ball after I beat it in Othello. I keep playing and the cute animals continue to weep when they lose. I managed to make all the animals break into tears. They seem to be staring through the screen with big, pitiful puppy eyes. I feel like this experience has a strength of my mental fortitude. SP? Oh, or maybe not. Oh, courage. Yeah. It's gotten late. I should head back to my room. Morning. This sucks. I spent so much time thinking about ghost stories that now I'm having nightmares. Uh, don't push yourself. Mm. Don't worry, I'm fine. There are just so many stupid rumors going around that it's tough trying to make sense of this whole thing. I did get some useful info though, so I plan on digging even deeper today. Try to remember what you find out at school, okay? I mean, we talked to a lot of people. Uh, do I really want to go around asking people again? No, I feel like I already did. Um, before we, I'm gonna go talk to um, Kenji. But I'm going to go here first and check the seeds again. Because today we harvest the, the seeds. The tomatoes. Welcome. Take your And still potatoes. Okay. Please. Uh might as well try the cat again. Uh, I feel like there's something else I'm forgetting to do. The other thing is if you try to go to the student dormitory, it, autom it automatically pushes it tonight. Uh, I think it'll even tell you. Yeah, front entrance. It won't let you go. If you try to go inside, it'll automatically push it to the evening. So you'll lose half the day, basically. Um, strip mall. Oh, right. That's what I wanted to do. I want to check that computer place, see if there's anything new. Come on in. No, nothing new. Maybe it'll tell us. Practice.
Uh, can't. Gotta hang out with Kenji. He's gotta tell me all about his cougar. Yo. Yeah, I don't think our bond will grow any stronger, but that's okay. <laughs> Let's hang out. <clears throat> oh, and then guess what? Feel my bond grow. Yeah. Time well spent. Let me tell you. Oh, it's you. Salut. Come to think of it, the crops I planted on the rooftop should be ready to harvest by now. Uh, let's talk to people first. Hmm? Something to matter? Just wanted to chat. Hello. How is your research into the ghost story progressing? Uh, we're missing something. Precisely. Well, I can see why it would be difficult to ascertain the truth in such a situation. Don't let yourself be discouraged. Let's see what's on TV. Hi, I'm Trish with today's installment of Who's Who. Today's subject is a 20-year-old lady with a beauty mark near her mouth. Um, was it Cindy Crawford that had that? She's said to be an excellent therapist. Definitely not Cindy Crawford. Unless she became a some kind of a therapist that I don't know about. I wish I could schedule a session. Next is news. Pain, pain, go away. Ha 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 ha. Well done. Man, let's talk about something. Don't you get tired of these rumors? I sure do. I see. Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, good luck with your research. Nothing new to talk about. When can I put stuff in here again? 16. Uh, rooftop. Looks like the produce can be harvested. Three. So these these give HP. We'll see how much. Um, healthy tomato sprout. So ten days. These are twelve days. Plant. Okay. Restores hundred HP to an ally. All right. Sure. I mean, it's pretty good. Uh, the first set was free, so... Why not? Um, ba -ba -ba. Today's Thursday. It would be increased charm. Yeah. Why not? I'm thinking maybe I should save, like, the computer stuff on days where there's no point going. To the arcade, like maybe on Sundays. Uh, it's only fifteen hundred. Hey, look at that. I was actually surprised. I thought courage would go up before uh, before charm. Hey. Hey. Do you remember what we were doing today? We're gonna share our findings about the ghost stories tonight. Looking forward to it. Yeah. Yep. I heard some pretty interesting stories while asking around. Anyway, don't forget about tonight, okay? Did you two ask around like we agreed? Yeah. Huh? Were we supposed to do something by today? I told you. I know, I know. I'm kidding. Man, you've got such a short temper. Fine. Then we'll meet in the lounge after school. Okay. Don't forget. Yes, ma'am.
Um, and actually, I also remembered something else I wanted to do. Uh, let's go... Here first. Go to the vending machines. Mumble, mumble. Nothing there I want. What are you saying? You know those incidents where people get apathy syndrome, right? Those guys look weird. They're all over town. If it was a sci-fi movie, it'd be aliens doing it. If it was a thriller, it'd be some secret, secret organization. It's real life, so I have no idea what's happening. Maybe it's both. This is, let's admit it. Life has a bit of every kind of genre, right? Sci-fi, fantasy, drama, comedy, horror. Maybe it's aliens, government conspiracies, you know, all that kind of stuff, all mixed together in like one big smorgasbord of a fucking uh, entity. But you never know. You never know. What's up, cat? Mew. Mew, you say. Uh, spend time with Tommy. I haven't looked at this in a while. Everyone's average level is 17. Basically 17, so we're close. Made use of Wakatsu Kitchen. I still haven't gone to any of the kitchens. Um, what's our mail say? Let's go grab some. It's good for your skin. Um, and let's go to here, strip mall. Fountain Dew, it's my favorite drink. What are you saying? Do you know the takoyaki stand over there? It's some fine dining. Sometimes this kid even from Kansai eats at that place. And even he says good stuff. Takoyaki comes from Kansai. So if a native t says it tastes good, you better believe him. Whenever a passenger asks me to ask me where to get a bite to eat, I always send him over there. Takoyaki's good, man. I love takoyaki. I do prefer uh, squid to octopus, but it is good. Actually, I like cuttlefish. Uh, my teacher told me there's been a lot of kidnappings these days. But he already said that yesterday. And the day before that, too. Well, maybe it's an ongoing thing. Yeah, buy something to drink. Uh, buy that. Buy that. And buy that. So five. Oh, this one's ten. That's why there's only one. All right. So let's head back to the school. Uh, yeah. Meet up with them. Mm. Oh, Yuki. Want to grab some ramen? Oh, you want to grab some ramen, right? Sure. Uh-oh. Doesn't look like he's having a good day. All right, let's go. Guess I'll get myself an extra large special. Oh, I so go for some ramen right now. Ah, uh, sorry, man, but I've got to pass this time. Why? I forgot I have to go check out that cram school today. Sorry, man. No time for ramen today. I mean, getting into college is pretty important, don't you think? You think about the future too, right? I've got plans already. Oh, dude. I didn't know you were so serious about your future. I never really thought about my future until Emiri told me I should. She said I'd end up a loser if I didn't. But the future's a long way off. I mean, I still have to go to college first, right? Apparently, a bunch of Emiri's students go to good colleges. She must be thinking about our future together. You ought to think about your future too, man. I'd hate to see you end up becoming a loser, you know? That's why we gotta work our asses off. 
for our futures. Well said. Seems to be sincerely worried about my future. I feel like our relationship has grown stronger. Later. I'm heading to cram school. Good luck, bro. Okay, as we agreed on Monday, we'll now hold a meeting to discuss what we've learned. Wow, you're really into this. Of course I am. I got lots of good info. And it turns out there was no angry ghost involved. Oh, huh. so that's what's important, huh? First off, let's talk about how this rumor got started. Where's uh, Mits uh, Mitsuru and uh, Akihiko? And maybe even the, the director, I forget his fucking name. The girl was found on the school grounds, so it does match the ghost story on that point. But why did the rumor spread so fast if this was the first time anything happened? There were three victims. Correct. But yeah, I was surprised when I found out. After that first incident, the exact same thing happened to two other students. All three victims had to be hospitalized. No wonder people thought it was a ghost. Okay, moving on. The victims were all in different classes. And at first glance, they don't seem to be connected. But they did have one thing in common. Anyone know what it was? What is this? A quiz show? Do you know? What did all three victims have in common? They went to our school. No. Come on. They hung out Hello? together. Hello. <laughs> they hung out together, dummy. Not just once or twice, either. They all got in with a bad crowd and were always out late. Considering they all ended up the same way, it can't just be a coincidence. So, to find out what happened, we're gonna do some field research. What? Field research? Yep. There's one place where all three victims were regulars. Whoa, hang on. You're not talking about that spot behind Port Island Station, are you? Oh, you know about it? Dude, you can't go there. I've heard all kinds of nasty rumors about that place. Oh, really? Well, then all the more reason we should go together. You're coming with, right? Uh, of course. Now we're talking. You're gonna let Junpei oh, and Yukari man. just walk around unsupervised? That place is seriously bad news. Do we really have to go there? Up until now, all we've done is follow orders. Isn't it about time we start thinking for ourselves? I know what you mean, but... Man, you have to say it like that. I guess I don't have a choice, do I? Then it's settled. We'll go tomorrow night, so plan accordingly. We'll agree to go somewhere shady tomorrow night. Jeez. See, I told you it wasn't a ghost story. There's no way they exist. You guys are just sitting here the whole time? Mm -hmm. Something the matter? Just wanted to chat. Greatly appreciated. I'm impressed that you've been able to gather so much information in such a short amount of time. Thank you. Hmm? What are you planning this time? Don't do anything too crazy. Um, yeah, nothing crazy at all. All right, enough's enough. Tomorrow, I'm gonna put an end to Junpei's stupid believe it or don't. You're not too freaked out about this, right? Um, yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. Good. I knew I could take on you. So, uh... I, heard I heard people gather there a couple times a month. The baddest of the battle get together. Looks like a reunion for a bunch of ex-convicts. Hey, aren't we planning to go there tomorrow? Oh, no! It's not really bad. What if you run into them? Well, good thing you have me. What day was this again? 14? 
16. I don't remember. And on that note, uh, we're going to bring this episode to a close. Um, yeah, we got a lot to look forward to for the next episode. We're going to go to the uh, the port station, like the back areas, meet up with the thugs, potentially. And we're just on the cusp of the full moon, which means we'll be hitting our second boss. So definitely looking forward to playing more for the next episode. Uh, but in, for this one, we actually did a lot. We finished the old couple, uh, kept working on um, uh, Kenji's social link, uh, Maiko as well. So we're definitely getting up there. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode so far. I ho hope you guys enjoyed the game so far, sorry. Uh, I'm, again, I love this game. It's a, it's a fantastic game. It's not my favorite Persona, but it's one of my favorite games of all time. Sorry again about that, guys. Uh, I don't know what's going on again with the game. Uh, I don't know if it's uh, the game itself or my OBS system. I guess I may have to reinstall it. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.